Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick episode. We're playing more Abyss Odyssey. And uh, we're seeing if we can do some good stuff with Mr. Mr. Skeleton Man. I don't know if he has a name. Or it's just like the... I think he's got a name that's like more of a title than a name. I forget what it is though. Current bracelet helps with freeze. This one looks like curse. I don't really care about that. Oh, we have a skill point. Um, I guess we'll do this one. Let's try and spec towards uh, uh, towards getting more mana again. Wait, I can walk? Oh, okay. Am I able to walk past this? Is that not, is that intentional? Oh, now I can't, okay. I guess it was just before we, uh, before we encountered the enemy. Damn, those combos are good. This guy is just out of control. Ah. Crap, we're getting beat up. Man, the thing is we take a lot of damage with this guy. You'd think he'd be a little bit beefier. So if we go to the down, no, if we go to the left area, we're gonna have to fight a boss, but then it'll be less difficult for us to go through, which is probably what we want. Because this guy's not really specced out yet to do anything fancy. Ooh, okay, so this is an ice uh, weapon, and we have an ice ring. Also, max experience might be good to get. Oh, we don't have enough money though. Health vial. We're gonna buy the ice claymore and the health vial. And I think we're just gonna use the health vial. Alright. Yeah. So we wanna go left. Alright, I like the uh I like the looks of this. And we can talk to our favorite guy. My sayings give wisdom to some, but not much of anything to others. Care to listen for a hundred gold? When you pay cheaply, you pay dearly. So our ring does enhance, yeah, it enhances freeze stuff. Yes, 
so we can't buy this even if we had the money. Now we gotta fight this boss with pretty low health. And we have no other thing to fall back on. We're actually in pretty big danger right here. The reflect damage is pretty good, but you can't count on it though, that's the problem. Ah, oh, crap, we're in trouble. We don't have that much health to play around with here. How's it? Oh, it's no good. Yes! Oh, wow. Oh my god. Okay, we did it. We have 156 health. Don't know what we're going to do on the next level, but for now we're good. We have 2,000... It's enough to buy a health pack if we find one. Ooh. I wonder what this... Oh, maybe we can't summon until we have won as that creature in the nether realm. I never thought of that, but we've never tried to summon as Catrienne for a long time. And so we probably won as a creature before we ever even knew that we could summon. So maybe we're essentially like unlocking the ability to do a summon. Damn, this, this power is really good. How is this not just broken? I feel like this is just a win button. Hey, I'm gonna use it. If they let me use this, I'm gonna use it. For as long as they let me. There you go. Yeah. Get him with the win button. Get him with the win button. There we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Win button. So now the question is can I summon this guy now that I've won as him? Yes. Okay. So it's not that this guy doesn't have the ability to summon, it's just that when he starts out, he cannot summon. Well, that's a huge benefit to us. Also, for some reason we got full health uh, going into this level. I did not realize. I guess if you win in the nether realm, then you also heal your main character. That's pretty awesome. Alright, press the win button. Press the win button. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Keep pressing it. Keep pressing it. It goes straight through the fireballs. What can't this move do? It's a really cool animation, too. 
God, this win button is something else. Alright, that's a Catrian weapon. So all we gotta do is get everybody to one side of us. Press the win button. There we go. We found the solution to all problems in Abyss Odyssey. It's just press the triangle with this guy. Uh-oh, they're getting a little too close for comfort though. That's okay, I'll go to the other side and press the win button. If they were smart, they would attack me when I'm on my cooldown, but they don't seem to do it. They can't regroup fast enough. Right there, I'm very vulnerable. And the thing about this area is that it's considered a hard area, so, you know, it might seem kind of petty that I'm just doing the same attack over and over again, but in these hard areas, you'll get completely ganked at a moment's notice. So, like, you have to use every advantage you have. It's not a place to screw around. I mean, we've gone from 100% health to zero in one of these hard areas. Not even like losing most of our health. Oh, that's the one that moves us to the guy. That's a cool move too, but the wind button's better. Because it keeps them at a very comfortable distance. Yep. Uh, whoa. Crap. This is a treacherous area. I wonder what's over there. Oh crap, it's a door that I don't have a key for. Or do I? Oh, we don't want to go to the right though, because that's going to be where... See, to the right is only hard areas all the way down, and this guy is like not leveled up at all. So we do not want to do that. We don't want to tempt the fates. Even if I have the win button, I don't think we're going to have win button guy for long. Ah, damn! Man, this spot is pretty hard to traverse. Three jellyfish. I'm gonna rate all difficult things in life based on how many jellyfish. This is a two jellyfish type of uh, situation here. So this is an ice resistance ring, but we would rather have the max health ring. And the next area is gonna be a not too difficult one. Moderate, that's nice. Aha! Alright, now get her away and win button! Aha! You've been hit by, you've been struck by the win button. Get him! Yeah! Oh my god, it's too good. It's too good of an attack. Oh no! The problem is, if the guy dies, then you're done. Win button is no more. We're gonna have to find that guy again. We definitely have a new favorite attack. It's not exactly interesting to play or watch, but it certainly gets us out of a jam.
God, this guy is good. Alright, let's see if there's anything for sale. We have 3600, so we can maybe buy a, a ring or like potions. We don't want the undead soldier. Wow, this is 27 damage. It's a poison one. I don't think we really want anything here. Oh, you have a skill point. Uh, let's just keep specking this towards mana then. right into the thing. Damn, this is a rough area. A lot of stuff's going on here. Come on, Bull, try it. <laughs> God, this guy is something else. Oh crap, good thing I saved my special attack. We're fighting ourselves! Hit him! <laughs> so that now I'm assuming will capture enemies just like uh, Catrian can do. Oh my god, he has 30 seconds of poison damage on me? Oh look at that, look at that combo! That's a nice combo! Now the thing, I don't know how he does that. That charge move is new. Oh, did we just get it? Did we just get the charge move? Uh, oh, the, the poison hurt us. That's it, that's the charge move, okay. So we don't really, let's switch out the that move. We'll do the charge with this. So, you have to hold it for a certain amount of time. I like that. I don't know how we're gonna combo with it that well, but it's definitely a cool move. It also means that we don't have to waste our mana because now we are saving the mana in order to capture enemies. Ladies and gents, we just discovered a bunch of new mechanics. This game continuously adds new things for us to, to find. I'm excited to keep going. I think we're pretty good with this guy now. I don't know. I think the Warlock's gonna have another thing coming. Guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. If you don't already, then make sure you subscribe on this YouTube channel. You'll see all these uh, Abyss Odyssey episodes come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. You can also go through our back playlists. They're all organized by game. We have plenty of gameplay series for you to watch if you're interested. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.